Reports have emerged of First World War-like conditions as Russia's army launches wave after wave of infantry attacks against heavily defended Ukrainian positions. A Russian Marine said soldiers were dying like flies as a result of incomprehensible offensives carried out on the Eastern Front. Fierce fighting continues to rage in Ukraine's Donbass region despite the onset of winter. In particular, Russian commanders continue to try and seize the city of Bakhmut. Reports have emerged of First World War-like conditions as Russia's army launches wave after wave of infantry attacks against heavily defended Ukrainian positions. Other areas of the Donetsk region have also seen heavy clashes that have resulted in high casualties for both sides. In November, Russian Marines from the 155th Guards Brigade helped capture the village of Pavlivka. The Marines are an elite detachment from Russia's Pacific Navy and have suffered significant losses during the military campaign. The brigade is believed to have lost hundreds of men in the battles to capture the village. The soldiers reportedly demanded that the Kremlin carry out an inspection to stop the poorly planned and unprepared offensive on Ukrainian positions. However, it appears their appeal has fallen on deaf ears and the troops are continuing to suffer high casualties as they carry out further missions. A Marine from the brigade told the Russian journal 7x7 that soldiers were being sent out daily to storm settlements between Pavlivka and Ugladar. Each time their commanders tell them that there is no enemy in these areas, and each time they end up being ambushed by Ukrainian forces. The Marines said the soldiers continued to die like flies.